What's going on everybody? This is Afro Think Tank. And today we're gonna to talk a little about a bit about Nigeria and why these elections is probably the most important, single most important event that's gonna happen in the black world. Like in the black the entire African world. Let me let me and I want you guys to take your take your egos, put it to the side for a minute. Take your pride, your egos, your patriotism for your country and your 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 need to be on team whatever country you're from and just be on team black for right now team africa for right now you see a lot of us groups as african groups we may have money power money and influence but what we don't have is a country right with with a with a institution strong enough to be able to flex that politically and militarily and on the global scale financially around the world we don't have a platform to do that because Europe, the Western world, has purposely uh, destabilized Africa in the black world. So, like, as much power as African Americans have, we don't have a foundation to control that power. Like, for instance, you can walk because gravity allows you to touch the ground. And because you touch the ground, you can create force to propel yourself. Right? That's the foundation, the ground. But if, I was, if there was no gravity, if I wasn't floating then no matter how strong my legs were, my legs are i could i would have no foundation to push off of to make an effective action right so the reason why nigeria is so important because a most populous country in the world whether you know it or not population equals money equals power all right number two nigeria for all its faults and and, and difficulties and things that got going on nigeria is an african country owned by Africans, operated by Africans, and governed by Africans. West Africans, no mixed uh, Arab looking Africans, no funny business, Arab, Mediterranean, Northern stuff. These are pure 100% straight up US DA approved African type Africans, right? Number, uh, I don't know where I'm at, three or four or four. The place is extremely rich, just like the Congo is extremely rich. Congo is probably more richer than Nigeria, but Congo has a long way to go. And Congo, at some point, will be one of the centers of the black black world. But right now, we need Nigeria to stand up. And that's exactly why we need Nigeria to stand up. Once Nigeria can take hold of its financial governance and prosper and really develop and create uh, and become a, a superpower, it will be the foundation in which all the other African countries can attach themselves to to also improve their comp countries and economies and fortify and strengthen themselves financially and economically to combat the uh, foreign powers that be that want to take and control the resources. Once Africa itself, the complete, all the continents have agency and they can trade amongst themselves and they don't need Western uh, intellectual, you know, properties or any help at all. Once Nigeria is able to stand up, that means the entire black world has just been empowered with 50 something institutions that no longer have to pander to the European power base to get anything done. Once that happens, we take over. It's over. And then that will empower us because that means our one point something trillion dollars of spending power will actually have a platform to rotate that money to make us even more money. Our, our one point something trillion dollars can be rotating in within our black economy, an African economy, and coming back to us tenfold within ourselves as a group of people. That's why this Nigerian election is the most important election. This shit get together, we can finally put pressure on the international community to leave Haiti alone, to leave Cuba alone, to stop, to stop, um, to leave our black post people in South America and Central America alone. We can create agency for all the black people who don't have representation around the world once Africa can gain the respect that it deserves by having a power, a country powerful enough to flex Africa's true might around the world to everybody. That's why this Nigerian election is so important. The sooner Nigeria gets itself together, the sooner the rest of us do. That's all I got to say. It's Afro Think Tank. Learn something, teach something, I'm out. I've governed the state for eight years and I've challenged everybody. Paul, you were there. I've been the only governor till today, the day I left office, I was not owing salary, pension, gratuity, or any contract, or any supply. And I left the three banks in Nigeria, which I say every day. Access Bank of Nigeria, Fidelity Bank of Nigeria, and Diamond Bank. I left hundred and over $150 million. Dollars. I didn't say that. And I have over $30 billion now. 
And I know Brad State, you can go and verify it. Man. I've never had a bottle. I know Brad State have never bought me. There's no land allocated directly and indirectly by me and I've signed over several thousands of sea of gold. Anambra has never bought me a bottle of water since I left office. So you can go. You will fight and stop corruption. The first thing about stopping corruption is yourself. If you're not involved, your wife is not involved, your family is not involved, those around you are not involved, you reduce it by over 50%. And that's what I'm going to do. And I'm sure Paul you know that. We are committed. We can't disappoint these youths. We must build a new Nigeria.